Capricorn. <laughs> What's popping? What's going on in life of a Capricorn for the mid month of October? <laughs> Are you guys in this energy of fulfillment? Love on top. I heard Beyonce love on top. I was meditating on y'all energy. <laughs> hey, boo, if this is first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. <laughs> may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the readings, the love. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it from the humblest space ever. Also, if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional around this motherfucker, okay? We don't fight with us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. Sometimes we cry. We laugh. Posi vibes only over here. We evolve. Posi type teens, okay? Also, if you're needing a personal reading, that information can be found within the description, okay? This message is not going to resonate with everybody. This will be for the sun, the moon, the rising, the Venus, as well as the cross watchers. I'm a quad time cross watcher. For the sign of Capricorn, okay? For mid October, you guys, if that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try and make that motherfucker fit. If it's too big, yeah, it's going to fall, okay? Returning subscribers, family! What's up? What's popping? Last time I got on y'all ass, somebody had come in the section like, that yeah, you were sounding like a true Aries for about two minutes. I was like, listen, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you about yourself. People who don't say shit, they just keep it moving. Usually those type of people who be trying to weave some shit together for their own intentions. I don't know nothing from you but your love and to see you do better. So yeah, I get the belt. Period. Okay? So with that said, let's rock, all right? For the mid-month of October, you guys, intuitive messages I got. Self-doubt, heart overhead decisions, surrender, observation, overextending, unresolved family matters, self-worth, compromise, healthy boundaries, reigning abundance, reigning in abundance, okay? Speak up. Speak up, Capricorn. Timeline wounds. Blessed business opportunities and investments. Yes. Controlling spouse. Life path. Connectivity. Mediumship. Take a chance. Outside interference. Okay? Oh, you guys also got fulfillment here. All right? So let's get it. My bad. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the Ten of Cups. Not the Cups. The Hearts. Okay? Which lets me know a lot of you all may be um, matters of the heart, matters of re revolving around family. Fulfillment is definitely going to be a strong um, objective for you guys for this mid-month of October. For some of you all, I'm hearing um, legacy, legacy. So this could actually have to do with some type of ancestral wealth. I'm also hearing inheritances, okay? I'm also hearing revelations, and I also heard the moon, which is funny because the angel message that you guys got was moon cycles, okay? Some of you all could be, um, some of y'all are indecisive about if you want to give somebody in the past a chance or not. If you're indecisive on if you want to open a door that was once very hurtful to you, but now you're looking at, you're looking at things from a different perspective. So you're able to see someone's shadows, not from a space of blaming them or faulting them, because you're able to see and you've been able to transmute the shadows within self, understanding that that person's situation was simply a mirror of your own behavior, your own shadow self. Okay? So let's get it. You guys got moon cycles from Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these uh, these cycles. For some of you um, uh, ladies, I do feel actually this is speaking about your menstrual. I heard flow. Okay, so actually this for some of y'all, your menstrual cycle could be switching up in this mid-month October. Some of you guys could be having moon cycles now. You'll notice that your moon cycles are in alignment with the new moon and the full moon. Okay. Others of you, this has to do with manifesting some type of fertility. So for some of you all, it's something about the new moon. It's, they're saying the new moon is where you lay your seed. So if you're wanting to um, try to get pregnant, for those of you who are talking about that and expanding your family here, um, especially for those of you who are in committed relationships, I definitely feel like there's some type of renewal, rebirth energy coming after a conversation is had. Well, boundaries are laid. 
And I feel that for some of you all, you've been so busy trying to overextend to make a situation work that now you're sitting back and you're observing and you're just looking at things for what it is. It's kind of like you have the ability to see smooth through that moon energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others of you, I feel like this is more so about um, entrepreneurship. Also, some of you guys could have had some type of brilliant idea. You are, you guys, a lot of y'all are claircognizant. So for some of you all, this is about using that gift in your uh, to your advantage, especially when matters around finances, career, abundance. If you have been feeling after that Aries full moon to just jump out there and be impulsive, that's Mars energy. It's like speak now or forever hold your peace. What the fuck is going? What are we doing? We jumping out there or not? Okay, y'all they cutting the grass. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. Okay, I can't stop the man from cutting the damn grass. All right. This is also about conversations to be had. You guys are being called to speak up during this time. Don't hold anything back. Try to be tactful. You know what I'm saying? But don't hold anything back. Spirit is saying that's the person. You guys are shedding shedding skin. You're going through a rebirth. You're going through a trans uh you're going through a transformation, to be honest with you. A lot of y'all are going through awakenings. You may begin to see paranormal uh things around your home. Some of y'all could be having the lights flickering. Your y'all 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 ancestors and your spirit guides were really they're really on your head during this time because some of y'all have signs and synchronicities right in your damn face, but you want the outcome to go how you want it to go because that's what you feel as if you deserve. But spirit is saying you deserve so much more. If only you're willing to give up this bullshit, whether it's a job, a person, a place, or a thing, okay? So I did pull four messages from, uh, for you guys from the Zen Tarot, kind of digging into your subconscious, okay? And this could actually uh, revolve around any area of your life, okay? My name is Mocha Love Tarot, but don't get it twisted. Mocha talks about a little bit of everything if you listen, okay? I'm a spiritualist first. So I care about your soul. Don't give no fizz nucks about your damn ego. For you all, the first thing, the first card you guys got was rebirth. First off, y'all got two tens in your reading. One signifying ending, and the other signifying you jumping right into a fulfilling, a fulfilling situation. But it comes with you no longer holding your peace. You speaking and understand that you are being used as a vessel to close shit up. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo or a relationship that involves a Leo or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you guys are rising away from being the person who allows everybody else to come and sit their problems on you. You guys are rising above the ashes. It's like Phoenix energy, okay? Yeah. During this time, some of you guys, be careful when it comes to any type of business deals, Capricorn. Make sure that you get all of the facts and make sure that if you're signing any type of lease agreement or anything having to do with contracts, that there's no type of fluctuation in what you're paying, As especially if this is monthly or annually. While you guys watch your bills. I heard light bill. Watch your light bill during this time. Some of y'all may find or notice some type of mistakes that may actually end up having you. I heard $200. So somebody got $200 coming, but I feel like it's coming from the way of mistakes or somebody taking something twice. Okay. This could even be um, a company that pulls something out from your bank account, okay? For some of you all, a lot of y'all are laying all your cards on the table during this time because you're able to see through somebody else's perception. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an uh, air sign with this morality card. For some of you all, this also is a time for you to kind of like, when in that midst of observation, Spirit wants you to surrender the aspect of control and just stay in this space of this observative energy. And take notes because motherfuckers are showing you who they are in Capricorn. Your eyes work. You're seeing smooth through people. Okay? They're saying do not get involved. You guys watch out for any type of money fast schemes or any type of schemes when it comes to get rich quick schemes. Because a lot of you all, there is this energy of scamming in your energy. Okay? This energy of the scamming shit that you guys may be dealing with mid-October. Or somebody trying to play you. Or be in your energy for financial reasons. So you guys ask the right questions. Okay? Because somebody who you're dealing with is wearing a mask in Capricorn. Your ass is going to be the motherfucker who get in their life. Okay? You're going to give somebody their life. It's a lot of air energy in here. I just realized all of this shit is air. Some of y'all are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a transmutation trying to occur in your life. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. Or this could be involved with either one of them. And some of y'all, your blessing is coming in way of possibly a water sign, Capricorn, through Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Earth sign, um, Capricorn, through Virgo. Okay. So let's dig. For some others of you, this has to do with you... 
ending a situation where you're wearing a mask. Some of y'all, there could be uh, talks about like divorce and things of that nature. For some of you all, this has to do with sexuality as well. I'm feeling that someone wants to come out. Capricorn, this could also be your children, okay? Someone is going to be coming out. There's an aspect of coming out or unveiling, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that the person who you married with likes the same sex. I think that came out of somebody else's reading. Somebody could be dealing with somebody else at work for financial reasons. Somebody could have a, could be married with a whole fucking sugar daddy and a sex addiction. But you're seeing through the smoke. All right. Sugar daddy, sugar mama, take it high resonate. Let's get it. Others of you, this has something to do with somebody having an addiction issue. And they're done trying to be the victim about it because they know that they're going to lose everything. Okay. Capricorn has let go of that control. Listen, I'm done trying to hold this shit together. You keep fucking up, you got to get your ass up out of here. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cappies for mid month for the mid month of October? Some of the rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for Capricorn. Yes. Some of you guys could be yes. Some of you all could be wanting to transmute a situation possibly with a Taurus or an Aries person. This could also involve the mother or the father of your children, okay? For some of you all, there's some type of recognition of a divine counterpart. I got the emperor and the empress that fell out first, okay? So some of y'all could definitely be having um some type of dreams or premonitions, either even visions I'm hearing. Some of you all are receiving certain synchronicities that are behind, around a certain particular individual. Some of y'all, you in this life partner energy, baby. This blessings on blessings. This harvest time, baby. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus, an Aries. Gemini for some of you all. Virgo for others. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cappies? What messages do you have for my Cappies for the mid -month? Yes! So I was actually using that to clarify this. Listen, there's some type of transformation, transformative energy again. Rebirth. Ego. 10, 10 in this bitch. Some of y'all got, you're going through a rebirth right now. A relationship is under some form of a transformation and some of y'all don't trust it, okay? For others of you, this could definitely involve someone who you dealt with in the past. Y'all, I'm hearing Aries and Taurus so strong, okay? If you have a family with some of y'all, this does involve a Scorpio, but I feel like someone's going through a transformation. The relationship overall, the, the, the connection itself is going through a transformation. Some of y'all that met y'all life partner it will be mid-month October. For some of you all, this is involving a reconciliation of some sort, a renewal. Yes. Some of y'all is definitely dealing with the sign of Aries. Somebody wants to, where if anybody was being stubborn in the past, somebody wants to reconcile and transmute that. They actually see someone, both of you guys are now starting to see each other's work through the bullshit that y'all have gone through in the past, okay? And again, somebody wants to trans transform this. First off, what the fuck, Capricorn? I got one, two, three, four, five, six cards out here and one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four major arcanas already. This is something major. You guys are going through a massive transformative energy. Some of you all, this has to do with you taking a leap of faith and investing in a business. I do see it being extremely fruitful, okay? Some of you guys need to make a decision between if you're going to choose to... Um, some of y'all have to have a conversation with a Scorpio or a Gemini to, trans, to transform a situation or completely let it go, okay? For others of you, some of you guys could also be receiving some type of solid offer to actually show you that they mean business when it comes to uh, reconnecting the situation, possibly with the mother or father of your children. For some of you all, I see you guys uh, looking at new cars during this time. Somebody's looking for an SUV or a truck. I see you being prosperous, baby, but be, again, watch that contract. Be careful, okay? Um, some of you all, there's a cancer that wants to come back or you want to go, you want to move forward towards a cancer. Some of you all have a new situation uh, happening with a, um, some of y'all got a mistress. And this could be somebody who is already in a relationship as well. Both of you, some some of y'all could be investing in the business with your mistress. Or somebody, yeah, somebody who you have a new beginning with. Some of y'all trying to start two women. Some, look, some of y'all trying to experience two whammies of a new beginning. Others of you, there's a Cancer, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that wants to start something new with you. There's also a fire sign, every Leo Sagittarius from your past. This could be someone who uh, has children with you. Yeah, that you need to make a judgment call on, okay? Matters not the sign. Capricorn is making a judgment. Do I cut? Do I cut this shit out of my life because it's causing me this sense of mental anxiety? But some of you all are overthinking the situation that literally your guys are saying, stop looking outside of yourself for the answer or allowing other people to tell you what they would do. Because if they would do that shit, why, ain't, why they ain't done it yet? 
Because the same people who y'all asking for advice during this time are the same people going through the same shit that you're going through, but you're being called to be the leader and show even even these individuals the way. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign from your past that wants to come back. And I feel like it has caused a sense of I don't know what the hell to do. Because I feel like this person, whoever y'all was dealing with in the past, they could have been a, like could have been very manipulative. This energy has transmuted. This person has experienced this sense of karma, so they're wanting to come in and fix it, okay? It's also a past life relationship. Two of them for some of y'all. Why is the emperor here? Yes, some of y'all have a new beginning possibly with an Aries, okay? A blessed beginning. For some of y'all, this has to do with your damn business. Some of y'all have a business that's getting ready to be popping because you, you're taking the first step to invest and trust in yourself. I tell anybody. If you're going to invest in anything, make sure that yourself is a priority, okay? Yes, some of you guys are dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of you guys, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. You could have recently just been started. You could have recently started talking to this person in the last three months, and you already finding out that you're going to have a baby. Congratulations. You may feel as if things are moving too fast, but to whom? To whom? Who made the rules? All right, now. Let that shit go, all right? Why is the fool here? Y'all are definitely investing in the business and it looks very fucking fruitful. Listen, look at this shit. Especially if you're doing this with your spouse. Yes, this is blessed. Why is the fool here? Take a leap of faith with that damn water sign. They love you. For some of y'all, it's Aries. Expressing to this person how you feel, okay? Or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of you all. Some of y'all are going to find out that if you're dealing with the sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is choosing to reconcile with somebody from their past who could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're tired of, I'm here in tightrope. Somebody's tired of talk, walking the tightrope based on the perception of other people. They're going to go get their wish, and they're going to be very fruitful if this is you, okay? For some of you all, there's a mending of a situation um, that has been needing to come out for quite some time. I'm here, I'm here in paternity. Some of y'all could also be um, actually finalizing some type of paternity issue for someone to build a relationship with a child, but they could have moved away from or been away from them for quite some time. I'm also here in incarcerated, so, so this could be involving somebody who's getting out of jail. Some of y'all got an earth sign coming towards you. Or you moving towards the earth sign, you want to fix it, you want to start over. And I feel like this person is going to be a bit shook because this person has already started a new situation, possibly with a water sign, who they see their, who they see a future with. Some of y'all want to go back to somebody who has a shoes between you, a past life soulmate, and their twin flame. Some of y'all going to get chose, but for others of you, I do see you being cut out of a situation um, that's involving a Sagittarius or you cutting that person out. Or that could be involved in a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Why is the Three of Pentacles here with the Chariot? Mm -hmm. For some of you all, there's a reconciliation occurring, possibly with an air sign, with a earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, or Cancer. This Cancer wants to say they sorry, Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's definitely wanting to balance the situation to make things move forward. They're tired of this stagnant energy, okay? Why is the judgment card here? And they need to know that you are spiritually protected. So y'all need to know you're spiritually protected. Some of you guys could be seeing hawks. Again, 10, 10. Y'all got four tens in this bitch. Capricorn is done, 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 done. On to the new. Snaps fingers. Yeah. Some of you all, this could definitely be a female earth sign if you're a Capricorn man who's making a decision to... Yeah, this person has to choose between yourself and a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or air sign. Some of y'all with yourself in a fire sign. Why is the Ace of Cups here? With the yes, because that new love is an equal give and take. It's going to bring you harmony. Trust it, Capricorn. Trust it. I dare you to trust it, y'all. This is beautiful energy. For some of you all, you're moving towards somebody from your past. This could also be a, a, a earth, I mean, an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, that you're dealing with who could have moved back to a family situation with a child's mother or a child's father, or they could be dealing with somebody that they work with. But overall, I see new love. I see new shmoney in this thing. I see renews. I see the mending of family ties. I also see Capricorn speaking up for their damn self. Whatever it was that you have been contemplating on, if you go, some of y'all pressure bus pipes, some of y'all gonna go to fuck off on somebody. But because you stood up for yourself, they may not say it, but they fucking heard what you said. Okay? So you guys, this is what I have for you all for the mid month of October. I pray that this resonates. Hold on, let me give y'all some angel uh, angel message to roll on my own. What's your advice for Capricorns? What? Let's just give me an additional message for Capricorn for the mid month of October. Yes, compassion, okay? Compassion. Hmm. 
Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. I heard paternity again. So for some of you all, there needs to be forgiveness in the situation for you to practice compassion in the situation, for you to have a gain a different understanding because everybody makes mistakes, okay? Will you forgive or are, is, it, is it a bit too much? But you can still forgive an individual and move on till they ask, fuck them, okay? But still have compassion for the situation that you want someone to have for you. Because to be honest with you, this outcome here, you see how she's holding this light? The angels want you to know that this outcome here is whatever you created to be. You hold the light. You hold that answer. You are the source. You are the mending. You are the balance. You are the harmonious. You are the harmonious middle. Hold on. Yeah, you are the harmonious median. Median in a situation. Take no sides. Stay neutral. Because you bring balance back where it the, where where there was hope on it being lost. Okay. And you do that by opening up, being receptive, being allowing to the co-creation of spirit, as well as the conspiracy of shit being torn down to be rebuilt in a healthy way all right so i love you all y'all let me know how this resonates and i will see y'all back here in november love you poos namaste